they were both great. So it's just kind of like, it's really whatever, you know, whoever made Rue tingle the most in her nether region. Right. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Drag Us Weekly, a weekly show where we recap what happened on RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star 6. I'm your host, Joe Drake, and this week I am joined by the fabulous, the one and only, Miss Pandora Box. Hi. Hi, how's it going? Um, okay. I was having a little, like, Wi-Fi trouble with my... Uh... I was having have... Wi-Fi trouble earlier. It's fine. We're still working remotely. You're in a hotel. Where are you? Um, I'm in Boston. Oh, nice. Do you have a, a viewing party tonight? Um, it's just a show, it's not a viewing party, so. Oh, nice. Well, let's get into what happened because unfortunately you were the eliminated queen sent home. But before we get into it, I gotta tell you a story. So okay. my friend Zachary <laughs> competed in, I think it's called like the Showgirls Monday Night Competition in Provincetown. Yes. That they yeah. did at A House years ago. And he competed and you were there. I think you were hosting or sort of running the whole thing. And he said, he won the competition, but he said the best part was, is that Pandora Box was so kind to him backstage because he was a baby queen at the time and just said, you were so lovely and took him under your wing. So we have been fans of yours ever since that night. Oh, um, that's amazing. Well, I definitely wasn't hosting because Ryan Landry hosts that show, but I was definitely okay. there. I, I did a guest spot there one night. Yeah, and he just said you were the sweetest and the kindest, so I wanted to share that with you. Aw, uh, thank you. All right, let's get into what happened on this week's episode. All right, it's time to get into the challenge this week. The challenge was the Snatch Game of Love. How did you feel like you did? 100% disappointing for me to leave <laughs> on the challenge that everyone thought I was gonna do well on. Right. Um, I mean, I, I left, so I didn't do great. <laughs> <laughs> Were you happy with your performance? Um, you know, it's kind of like I wasn't unhappy. I felt like I stayed in character and uh, I, I got the character. I just, uh, you know, it was hard because uh, once I told uh, a joke or a bit and I didn't land and, and RuPaul didn't laugh, I was kind of like, oh, um, and I guess I, I got in my head a little bit because I was thinking of, you know, my past snatch game that everyone talks about and, uh, and it, it, it was tough and everyone in the show is, is really good and really talented. So there's, there's that as well. Yeah. Well, let me ask you, because you did do Carol Channing this season, you reprised her again, which fans loved. If you hadn't done that Super Bowl challenge, would you have been Carol Channing for snatch game of love? Um, I don't think so, because I think that would have been even more pressure to like kind of live up to that and be just right. as. Definitely. Did you have any other options other than Kim Cattrall that you were debating that we don't know about? Um, well, I was thinking of Dolly Parton, but once Kylie said it, I was like, no, she's going to be great. So yeah. um, and then I had thought of Betty White. Uh, oh. And then I just like I really had thought of Tilda Swinton for a long time because I thought she, she's so kind of weird and out there that I could say anything I wanted. Yes, those, those would have been good choices, but you were brilliant as Kim Cattrall. All right, let's move on and talk about this week's runway. Well, let's move on to this week's runway because I love this. It was pop art and we saw a lot of faces on dresses. When you guys were getting ready backstage, were you like, uh, we all had the same idea? Um, well, I think it was kind of like, that was kind of what we were supposed to do. Was kind right. of like, you know, right. make ourselves pop art. So I wasn't really like, I was like, oh, it's fine. We're drag queens. Of course, our faces are going to be on our bodies, right? Definitely. <laughs> uh, aside from yourself, who would you say had, who was your favorite look on the runway? Um, I'm trying to remember them all because I haven't seen the episode yet, but, um, I mean, I really love Trinity because I think Trinity like had a great message and Definitely. I mean, Trinity always looks amazing, but this was really like top notch. Definitely. It really was. I loved it. Um, uh, just to be shady for a second, did you have a least favorite look? No, no, everyone was fine. Yeah, I thought so. 
I feel like you may have been the least shadiest queen of All Star Six. Would you agree? <laughs> um, yeah, I think so. I don't think I said anything too shady like on there. And I, I just, I mean, I know that there was some uh, between Eureka and I. There definitely was, but not shade. But we definitely like ripped on each other <laughs> a bit. And, uh, but it was all in good fun. And that's the thing too, like, I don't feel like anyone was being like shady on the show or, right. or someone that you could be like, oh girl. I mean, Eureka talked a lot. So I was <laughs> like, shut up. <laughs> Nobody was being like, I don't really think there was like a villain or somebody being like really extra and terrible. Right, I would agree with that. Speaking of your interaction with Eureka, you had mentioned on the runway that, you know, she was so sort of uh, boisterous and doing her thing with Divine. Do you regret what you said? I know you cleared it up backstage, but Eureka sort of seemed to take issue with it. Um, no, I don't regret it because the way that I was thinking and the way that I feel like I said it was that it, it was, um, I didn't know what to say when she was saying the wild and crazy things. Like I didn't know how to react as the character. And I felt like that was just me. And like, I, like that was just from my feelings. And, and yeah, I'm glad that she said something because I, I was able to explain to her that I'm like, no, I'm I was just talking about me. And like, I'm definitely not blaming you for me <laughs> not being able to land a joke. Right, no, a hundred percent. And it's probably hard to picture Kim Cattrall next to Divine <laughs> in any it, it was, and that's what I was kind of like thinking. I'm like, oh, uh, and then I was like, oh, I'm in the middle. I was just like, if I was like one, I don't know. I was just kind of like, oh, sh <laughs> well, how would she react to Divine? Right, right. Uh, did you, have you main, remained close with Eureka since filming? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Is there anyone that you uh, didn't get close with that you wish you became better friends with? Um, no, I don't think so. I think that we're all, like we all have a, um, a, a secret group message that we talk on and oh. <laughs> um, yeah, so no, I feel, like, I feel like we did get close and I feel like um, we've remained close and, and I didn't know some of these girls like very well. Right. Um, and so it was nice to really get to know like Raja O'Hara, who I didn't really know at all. And uh, and Scarlet Envy, who I had worked with like maybe once or twice. And so um, it was Anna Kiria. So it was great to get to know these girls that I really didn't know. Definitely. What, what can you tell us that's talked about on this secret group chat? I'm sure fans <laughs> everywhere would love to get their hands on these text messages. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure. Um, we talk about a lot of things. Uh, Jiggly talks the most in it. <laughs> Shocking. Shocking. <laughs> yeah. Seeing as you were one of the quieter queens, do you get, are you able to talk more via text or are you also quiet on the text thread? Um, well, most of the time in this, in this group, they, um, they record their voice and so it's like voice memos on it and so sometimes there'll be like 20 of them and I'm like oh my god now I have to listen to all this you guys uh but <laughs> no I do uh I'm a good texter yeah leave it up to drag queens to not text but they're like let's hear I need to hear my voice <laughs> yes and sometimes there's like like 20 of them and I'm like oh, okay all right, now let's move on to see which queen came out on top. All right, well, let's talk about the top queen this week because Ginger did such a great job in the Snatch Game of Love and she came out as the top queen. Do you think she deserved it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'd see him being shady. Um, yeah, yeah, there you she, go. She was great. She was great. Uh, who would have been your second pick if you had to give it to someone else? Um, well, uh, Kylie, for sure. Yeah, Kylie did, did really, really well. And if there's a top, there most certainly is a bottom. Well, of course, where there's a top, there's always a bottom or two. Um, do you agree? We hope. With, <laughs> we hope. Do you agree with who was in the bottom this week? Yeah, I mean, yes. Yeah. If you could have swapped yourself out with any other person, would, who would you pick? <laughs> You're making me shady. Uh, um, I don't know. 
I don't know. Maybe uh, Eureka. <laughs> I was just, I was gonna say, let's just say Eureka. She's not gonna care. She won't care. And finally, it's time to chat about this week's lip sync. Ginger, of course, had to uh, lip sync with this week's lip sync assassin, who was Heidi in closet. I also feel like Heidi showed up clearly spending her Miss Congeniality money on wigs and gowns. <laughs> Would you agree? Yeah, she looks great. That, that wig was amazing. She definitely looked great. And of course we saw Heidi and Ginger have very two very different lip sync uh, approaches, especially to a song like we saw this week. Um, do you think that the right person deserved to win lip sync? Um, yeah. I mean it was definitely like they they were both great. So it's just kind of like it's really whatever, you know, whoever made Rude tingle the most in her nether region. Right. <laughs> but the girl I've chosen to get the chop is Pandora. No. Sashay away. When you found out who won, did you were you like, it's me, I'm going home? What were your thoughts? I mean, I knew regardless that it, it was me. You did, why is that? Well, because I think through the whole season, everybody has tried to vote very fairly and which, um, which I think that everybody did. And I was in the bottom twice and I hadn't won anything. So I was like, there's no way that they're not gonna vote. They're, they're not gonna vote for Trinity. They're gonna vote for me. Right. Um... I, th I thought you did so well this season. I kept telling my friends, I'm like, Pandora is like the secret assassin here because she's like sailing through. And I know it's not fun to not win because you had so many great looks. Is there a challenge that you would have really liked to have won that you didn't? Um, well, I, <laughs> this, this one actually, but I certainly did not deserve to, to win this one. And it's <laughs> kind of a, you know, it's a little bit of a bummer that this is the one that I, go home on but you know it, it it was fair and and I uh and everyone did such a great job so I don't know if there's anything you mean I mean I will not say oh I should have won this or I should have won that because I feel like that demeans the other queens if they right. if they're win and because everyone did a great job and definitely deserved to win but you know, I was feeling the acting challenge and I was like, thought maybe I was in the top on that one. And- You were robbed. <laughs> so yeah, that was one that I was like, huh, okay. <laughs> right, yeah, you were definitely robbed. And I think the fans agree. Speaking of the fans, you come from an earlier season of Drag Race. How, how has it been being an All-Star 6 with the fandom being as crazy as it is? Are you- getting a lot of more DMs and followers from the younger fans? Well, I was really worried about that because I know that it's a little bit crazier now. It's crazy. Um, but I will have to, I have to say that everything that's been sent to me, like I would say like 98, 99% of it has been just positive things. So I am very thankful for that. And if I've seen a negative comment, I, I just block people now. I don't engage with it because I have found that if, you engage with it or you call it out or you make it known, you get more of it because right. it just brings more or people are like, oh, that's how I'm gonna get her to pay attention to me. So right. I'm like, nope, you're just blocked. Just blocked, it's the easiest way to do it. Uh, Pandora, what does the rest of the summer hold for you? More gigs, where can people see you? Um, well, my website is the best way, pandorabox.com. There's two X's in box because the X-Rex marks the spot. Um, yeah. But I'm going to be working on an album because I did a Kickstarter for my debut album and it made the goal within two days. So oh, I'm geez. really excited. And you can still donate to it, the debut album of Pandora Box on Kickstarter because um, the more money that it's donated, you, you know, I can get fancy outfits for music videos and things. <laughs> Definitely. Well, I can't wait. I will be donating. I will be looking to see you soon when you come back to New York. And I loved you on this season. So thank you for coming and chatting with me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sorry about my Wi-Fi troubles. And, like, oh, no this, worries. I'm dealing with it too. It's crazy. This leached yeah. out lighting. I'm like, oh God. <laughs> I know you I look know great. I'm, I know I'm white, but I'm like, wow. All right. Like, I'm not balls. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, Pandora. Thank you. Bye. Bye.